Okay, I'd like to talk to you today about left wrist position at the top of the backswing or lead wrist position at the top of the backswing and how it affects your club face angle and indeed your swing playing on that downswing. Now, if you're someone who is struggling with a slice, the first thing I would look at after I've looked at your grip would be how you start the backswing. Are you rotating this club too early, which then leads on to a top of the backswing where this left wrist is quite cupped? This position here. Now when we cup that left wrist, we open the club face. When I flatten the left wrist, I close the club face. So that opens club face, that closes club face. So I'd be looking at the takeaway, trying to keep this club pointing a little more at the grass, which helps keep the, the, the structure in the back of that left hand. And then from there, trying to get this left wrist flatter at the top of the swing. That would be more square that would be more open. If I can get more here, I've got a much better chance of coming down on that nice shallow swing plane that we like to see. If I get to the top with a, a really cut left wrist, I'm much more inclined to want to snap down and come over the top and, and slice it basically. It's there, and then it's there with that left wrist. 